Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you achieve more across your day. So in this video, what I wanted to do is show you an application that I was actually recommended via email. Um, the team emailed in and asked whether I could take a look at this one. Um, I tend to take a few requests like that on email every now and then because I do like to explore some new productivity apps, uh, some new resources. Um, this one's slightly different. Uh, outside of the personal productivity realm, it's slightly more in the kind of project management. But I felt that this could be used as a personal productivity tool if you wanted. Um, and also, I think it, it, it kind of caught my attention because this topic of, of like mind mapping and Kanban, that sort of stuff is actually something I like to check out every now and then. So the tool is called Drop Task, and it's available on web. Uh, what I'll be demoing today is the web version. It's available on desktop, although in beta. It's available on Mac, iPad, and iPhone as well, and Android. So you've got the range and ability of tasks there. So today I will be reviewing the web version. I'm reviewing the free account, uh, which I will give you some information in the description. Uh, it's, you know, as you can see on the homepage, it's been featured by a few um, magazines before and also uh, you know, other companies are using it. But I'll go into more detail near the end on that kind of stuff. So let's get stuck in with reviewing drop tasks. So this is the user interface here. And just a note as well, the team, as I signed in, actually applied a DropTask Pro account. However, what I'll do, I'll go over what the free account offers and what the Pro account offers. Um, so it'll give you kind of some more context on those two things. So I have got a DropTask Pro account, but this is your dashboard when you come in. So it auto creates a couple of, um, and, and they're, they're very similar to kind of like bubbles or circles or, or areas that you have. It auto creates a couple of them. So I've got home, uh, office, waiting for errands, calls, and computer. As you can see, uh, what you can do is, uh, you know, maneuver around the page. You can add a few more um, circles and have, you know, Lots of different ones coming in, um, and, and obviously uh, what you can do as well is, as you can see here, you can edit and move them around uh, based on you know where you'd like them, whether you'd like them more structured in a downward line, um, or whether you'd like to change the titles. So what I've done is I've started on just throwing a few tasks into home, um, and I've created a few one tasks and two groups. So I'll show you how to do that. So. Essentially, the idea around this is to help you visualize your tasks. And let's say I wanted to create a task now. All I'd have to do is drag in uh, this circle into this box here. And let me just write the task. I've had feed dog, feed cat, uh, feed the uh, fish. So I want to feed the wolf. I just, I just put these because they're really random. Um, and I've created that task inside this circle. So very visual, as you can see, um, I could just see this at a glance and be able to, you know, oh, wow, okay, I've got all of these activities to do. So once I go into this specific um, circle, um, I'm not sure what the kind of word is. I think they're actually named project folders. What I can do is I can actually click into each of these tasks uh, if I wanted to. And once I've selected that task, I can actually go into more detail. So I can actually edit the name of the task. I can give it a certain, st uh, I can give it four key qualities. I can give it a status, whether it's being paused, uh, in progress or completed, um, or even you know ongoing or not started, um, urgency and importance and the effort level. So they're the four kind of key um, you know, indicators from GTD. Uh, and as, as I should mention, the start at the start of setting up your drop task account you get whenever you create a new project um, you do get uh, suggested what kind of structure you'd like uh, and they do turn so they, they they offer it as you know to do and, and scrum and things like that so it gives you the ability to uh, choose that kind of context on how best you work so anyway once I'm in this one um, I could be like oh okay I actually you know it's meant you know, feed the wolf <laughs> it's meant to be done tomorrow um, and I can even set repeat as well. So I want to save that. Okay, wolf feeding is tomorrow. And it comes up as a nice little kind of dash there. Let's say I assign it to myself. Um, and I'm just going to assign it to myself for now. Obviously, you can have lots of team members. You can add team members by just going over here and inviting them to that this specific project. 
And that what they'll do is they'll tab out of the side so you can kind of visually see it uh, without any issues. Um, let's say I want to tag it with, okay, this is an offline task that I can do. Um, and as you can see, the tag comes here. So as you can imagine, it's still very visual, uh, allowing you to do that. You can attach uh, files. I won't do that. Uh, you can even add a reminder that obviously notification goes off. You can also move the task to another project. Um, but I mean, I wouldn't, I would actually like to kind of be able to drag it, which you can do. Um, so it's not too much of a worry being able to do it from there specifically. But as I'm still in this one, what I'm going to do is uh, just see what under, there's not really other, any, any anything, and anything major there. Um, but let's say I want to add a description. So hello world. Uh, and I can save that. That's just a bit of context that I've got there. But, and nothing comes up here, as you can imagine. But let's say I, this task requires a lot of effort to do. Um, and as you can see, it grows. And the importance is very important. And a massive red bar comes. There's lots of different indicators for these. So, you know, there's normal and there's low importance. So that's really visual. And I think a lot of people will benefit from this. You can actually see the indicator for urgency as well and whether the projects are started or not or completed, um, which is great. And as you can see down here, a kind of timeline of all of this is coming up, which is quite nice because obviously, let's say you're working on this with lots of team members, um, you know, that kind of, th that tally of information will be valuable. Oh, why did John task update it into in progress? We haven't started it or okay, John's already started on this project, which is great. You can add a comment so you can tag team members too. So when you're in there, um, that again is a pro feature. So I do want to go over the kind of all the features and then say which ones are pro or not, etc. at the end. You can add subtasks. So let's say Feed the Wolf, you know, before that, I've actually got a, uh, sorry. You can also add subtasks as well. So let's say before Feeding the Wolf, I've got to go and buy uh, wolf food, bit of crazy item. But as you can imagine, uh, what happens is a layer comes in. So it indicates that there's more than one task within that. Uh, and then obviously I can tick into that and uh, the, the layer changes. So as you can imagine, still very visual, uh, really impressive so far, obviously, when you can kind of get going with that. What I really like is the ability to drag in tasks. I think that would be really snappy, a good way of doing it. Um, and obviously you can move the different tasks across. So let me just put this in waiting to, it'll change color. Um, but one other thing you can do before I move on to the kind of other uh, visual features is the ability to create groups. And groups is a way for you to kind of group all of the specific tasks. So I've put marketing team, uh, but you could put marketing, you could put HR, whatever it is uh, inside that home project, or you know, it could be anything. I could say this is YouTube, and have a marketing group in there and have all these little tasks in here. Uh, so let's say I click into promote YouTube videos. Uh, again, you get all that context, which is great. A pro feature that I know is set cover image. So that's a nice one. So you can actually set a image from your background. So it kind of it makes it look a bit more visual when you're seeing it. Oh, you know, there's, um, there's a really nice picture of uh, a cat or I don't know, whatever your background is, uh, it helps you kind of visually see before you go into that. Um, again, you can have lots of different tasks inside those groups. So if I dump them all in there, that circle gets bigger. And just to point out as well, that Feed the Wolf, as I increase the urgency and importance of it, it got very big, um, which is great because obviously you can go, oh, okay, that's the most important task in this set of um, activities. And as you can see, the more tasks inside a section, the bigger the entire mini project goes. So just one feature here is obviously you've got group view, you can see all of the circles at a glance. Um, but the other thing, and I just zoomed out there, so you can actually have the effect there. So you can have lots of things going on. Uh, you can actually see it in list view in case you're someone who likes the wording of things. So you can actually see all of the context there. Um, and also the, the urgency scales, which is great. Um, so it's not very, it's not like all fits one, you know, you have to see it in group view because that group view might annoy the people that are not visually, um, you know, are visually, that might not, and the list view might be beneficial for those people that aren't visually orientated. The other view is the ability to task activity view, very similar to the apps like Asana and, 
and uh, Trello. The ability to see that is quite important. Comments, attachments, and completed tasks as well. So you can see what your team's up to. Um, so that's really great. One thing here that I've just noticed, one thing here I've just noticed is if you drag your avatar over a certain task, it auto assigns it, which is great because you can quickly do that and get them involved. Up the top here, you can see your notifications as well as your profile. You can set any preferences, templates, and uh, things like that. Uh, inbox is a way for you to quickly add tasks. So I said feed the car, but I meant cat. Let's say I wanted to uh, go for a run. It adds it as a real simple activity and then allows you to drag them all in, uh, which is quite fun. So you can kind of clear your inbox quite nicely. Um, I like the animations on a Chromebook. It works slightly slower. So, you know, that's not necessarily their fault. One thing you can do, and it says here, is actually you can email tasks in using tasks. Uh, you can email things into your inbox, uh, tasks specifically, uh, if you set up your email. And that's all done in the settings if you just email the task at task, droptask.com. Quite exciting stuff, as you can imagine. This is a different approach to some of the other applications. Like Trello, uh, a very visual approach. You can set multiple different um, multiple different projects up. Uh, and this is just an example one, of course. You can also, uh, just a small feature here, search all of your tasks, uh, tags, anything like that. Um, and actually go a bit deeper, finding all of the stuff there. But as I can imagine, with a lot of people using this, with teams, you know, having a couple of team members throw in some stuff, and it must get a little bit busier. Um, but, you know, that's something that you and your team can discuss about having different areas, and you can have a project for yourself. Um, so it's a really consistent way of being able to see visual activities that you need to do. So let's go a little more in detail on what the pro account consists of. Okay, so the Dropbox free account gives you. Okay, so the Drop Task free account gives you the ability to add up to two members per project um, and up to five projects. Gives you the ability to sync over the devices, of course, and unlimited tasks and groups, notifications, all of that context that you saw uh, before, multiple project view, so you get to see that list view, etc. Uh, a daily summary email and due dates, which is quite nice. Um, Outlook integration and Google contacts integration. Um, the other stuff that uh, the kind of pro, so pro is offered at £6.50, $6.50 per month, averaging out $65 a year. Sorry, I'm in part, <laughs> thinking of pounds. But that's around about £45, £50 in. Uh, so that's slightly more expensive than the Evernote, but I'm guessing if you're using it, uh, with your teams, um, and you can have the ability to add more people. So I think that's not too bad for the pricing, especially when other task management applications for teams usually do offer a you know, three to eight pound to eight dollars, sorry, per month per user. Um, something that Asana does. So this could be a good uh, saving for you. So there's lots of different features. They mainly reside over the ability to add lots of subtasks, task assignments, um, and also just more context around the task. So things like cover image, emailing in, uh, requests, but lots of other integrations that you can kind of go into detail. You can actually get Evernote integration, Google Tasks and Calendar integration there. So that could be a real valuable asset, especially when you're moving, um, you know, with you're moving with that sort of information with your team. So that's a valuable asset to have. The final thing to mention is apparently teams like Ralph Lauren, John Lewis, Disney, and Nike are using this sort of application. So it's something that you know are used inside those sorts of uh, teams inside Nike and all of the, all of these I just mentioned. So it's something that I can imagine by looking at that kind of quick audience that some of those teams are really visually orientated. And this is, again, one of those task manager, project managers that are very visually focused. So anyway, guys, that was just a quick overview of what Drop Task can offer you. Um, as I said, I'm this is literally something that they emailed in and I and it looked very interesting so I did check it out I'm not being paid to do this I will let you know if I'd be paid of course um, so it's something that I wanted just wanted to review because it's slightly different to some of the other project managers out there 
Um, and uh, I really hope you enjoyed the review. I'm really looking forward to doing some more videos. Um, you'll see more videos coming up soon, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Um, and uh, drop a comment if you if you like the drop task so far. So thank you very much, everyone. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.